apart from that, when you go in my brother's room, him and Flash had two turntables and a mixer mm -hmm. in the room. Got it. You know? Now, Flash was like a, 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 a electronic wizard, you know? And he was a, um, how do you say it? A, a, a messenger. That's how he got his name, Flash, because he was a messenger, you know? Zipping around my oh, like a bicycle then, messenger. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. He was okay. a messenger. Huh. And and he also took up electronics in school. So when he went to deliver a package to the radio station, that's when he saw the DJ with the earphones listening to the record before he actually played it. And that's when he um, did the research, and that's when he first wow. did the QE. Right. You know? So the QE meaning the Q button that allows you to queue up your song right. yeah. that your audience doesn't know you're about to play. Right. Because right. right. mixers that Flash, Theodore, Mean Gene, Theodore's brother were using didn't have the Q button. I guess I'm assuming they were too expensive to buy for you guys or? No, well, the mixers that they were using didn't cater to anyone with, with a, um, with a, 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 a QE or your earphones. Right. I mean, you look, you can look in the back of the mixer and see that there was, um, 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 how can you say, uh, 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 there was a hole back there where you can plug something in in order to make your own QE system, which was something that, that was in a, um, a radio station. Like, we have a mixer in a radio station, you can obviously um, hook a QE system up to it, but right. My brother and Flies didn't know that the mixer that they had, you can actually hook a QE system up to it. Right. So once Flies seen the QE system in the, uh, in the radio station, he did a little bit more research on the mixer that they had in the house and found out that he can actually hook a QE up to the little mixer that he had. So an external box that allow you, allows you to queue up a song before that, how were you guys, you guys were already doing parties, how were you guys queuing up songs? How were you? <laughs> Good question. If you, if you, even now, if you take a needle and put it on the record, you can actually hear it. Sure. You can actually hear the... Without amplification. Like right. You can actually you hear, hear, you can actually hear the needle inside the groove of the record. Yes. And each record has grooves in it. Right. You know, you can look at a record, if you, if you, if you own a, a 45, or if you own, say you own a, a, a Aretha Franklin 45, say a, um, um, a Rock Study, something like mm -hmm. that. And when a Rock Study break comes in, you can actually look on the 45 and see where the line gets really, really dark. Yep. That's where the break part is. Yep. So you can pick up the needle and put it to the, put it to the darkest part of the record, and that's your break part. Yeah. So you were either looking at the record visually identifying where you wanted to place the, the, the needle so that the next song would start where you wanted, or you place the needle and put your ear to the needle and try to cue it up that way. Both, you know? Because so, what some DJs do sometimes is, when one record is playing and he's getting ready to play another record, he will put the needle on the record and, 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 and slide the fader up just a little bit just to hear the record and stop it and pull the fader back down. So you're holding a record, and then when you're ready to play it, just play it, you know? So you could probably be dancing to a record, and you can hear my brother Flash or Mean Gene put a record on and slide the fader up just a little bit, and you might hear the record come on, boom, and you stop the record. Right at the spot that you want to And then you just hold it and hold it and hold it until it's, until it's time for you to let it go, you know? So, so then Flash on one of his messenger runs uh, to a radio station, saw the radio DJ using an actual cue system and realized, wow, all this time we've been, you know, cueing up sounds by I either having a look at, looking at the record mm -hmm. or putting our ear to the needle and listening for when a uh, specific spot of the record that we want, they wanted to use came. Yeah. Then when he saw the DJ on the radio was like, all right, I'm gonna go wire my own external cue yes. system yep. and then from there were other DJs then figuring out how to wire their own separate cue systems or yeah. after that were they then buying mixers with the cue system? Yeah they were buying mixers with the cue system and I think um, 
as time started going by, the, the manufacturers of, um, of mixers like Rain and Newmark and, 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 and all of these companies started making mixers that had the um, earphones hooked up to right. them. So now you didn't have to actually go out to Radio Shack like Flash did and buy parts. Yeah. Hack it now. Yeah. yeah.